So what if you've got an unknown in your probability density function? So this question here is a good example. Find the value of C that makes f of x a probability density function. So here we have f of x equals Cx if, zero is, if x is between 0 and 2 and 0 otherwise. And now Cx, that means it's a linear function. So it's going like, to look a little something like, uh, like that. And we need the area under there between 0 and 2 to be 1. So... We can do all of this with integration. We can set this up and say that if it's a probability density function, the area between 0 and 2, between 0 and 2, needs to be equal to 1. And that's really what we're, what we're aiming for. So 1 equals the integral between 2 and 0 of uh, Cx with respect to x. Now, integrating that, I have 1. Uh, the integral of that is cx squared over 2, and I'm integrating between 2 and 0. Now, I can sub 2 and 0 into that equation right there, which I'll do now. Now, when I do that, as is often the case, the second bracket is c times 0 over 2, which is a big fat uh, 0. Uh, so we don't really need to worry about the minus anymore. We just have 1 equals c, uh, two, c times 2 squared, so that's 4c over 2. Okay, um, now 1 equals 4c over 2, uh, I multiply by 2, I'll get 2 equals 4c, and I can divide by 4, I'll get 2 over 4 equals c, so c equals 1 half. So, I now have a probability density function, as long as I put 1 half in there. Uh, I'll just finish that off. So I have my newly minted probability density function, f of x equals half x if, zero is, uh, if x is between 0 and 2, and 0 otherwise. Now, we can sort of, now that we've found our unknown, which I think was relatively straightforward, let's find another probability, uh, just so we get some more practice finding probabilities using PDFs. So using my probability density function, I'm going to find the probability that x is between 1 and 1.5. So to do that, I'm going to say that the probability uh, that 1 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 1.5, is equal to the integral between 1.5 and 1 of uh, half x with respect to x. Now I can integrate that. So now I have x squared over 4 between 1.5 and 1. And I can sub in 1.5 and 1, subtract 1 from the other. And here we have 1.5 subbed in, minus 1 subbed in. And if we type that into our calculator, we'll get an answer of 0.3125. So, under this, sorry, under this probability density function, the probability of getting a score between 1 and 1.5 is 0.3125, about 31.25%. Okay, so this video was about finding an unknown that would allow something to be a probability density function. So we let it equal 1 and we've solved for the unknown. Um, here, we've just had a little more practice at finding the probability between two values.